Harry, was it an emotional day for you? Um, yeah, it's strange, you know. It's Obviously, I'm so used to coming here as the, the home player and uh, been here many times before, so it was strange coming here in a, in a different shirt and into the away dressing room, but um, no, I like to enjoy these occasions, you know. I had an amazing career at Spurs, you know, so many great memories, and uh, it was just great to see the fans again, um, obviously some of the players, the staff, who uh, you know, I've had a lot of relationships with, and then... Um, yeah, the game itself, you know, I probably shouldn't have been playing today anyway. I only trained yesterday, but uh, I think it was important for me to play 10 minutes or so. And yeah, it was good. It was good to get back out there. Nice to have a send-off from the fans, because you didn't really get one last year. No, you? exactly. It was, uh, everything was really kind of rushed through last year, so we didn't have the chance. And then, yeah, I think it was a, you know, a great way to just say thank you to, to all of them. You know, the reception I got was, was amazing, and it was great to obviously clap them uh, around the pitch after, and some stayed behind, some of the kids especially. So... Um, I'd always be thankful to, to every Spurs fan. The support they've shown me throughout my, my whole career has been incredible. And, you know, I just appreciate um, yeah, them seeing me and me seeing them again. And that last 12 months has been quite turbulent. Is it ups, ups and downs? How do you reflect on it? Yeah, it's been, uh, it was a hectic 12, 12 months. You know, a lot of change in my life, um, obviously from a football point of view, but also personally as well, moving to a different country, uh, settling in a new house, getting the kids in school, all that sort of stuff that goes into a transfer is... Uh, yeah, it, has a, it takes a lot of energy out of you, but um, yeah, I think it was a, a really good year. Obviously, also in the summer was, uh, you know, we're one game away from having an incredible summer, but it wasn't wasn't to be. So um, in life and football, you just have to dust yourselves down and go again. And you know, I'm really looking forward to this season. Goodbye. Spurs can never replace you, but they've obviously signed Dominic Solanke today. Give, give us your thoughts on that. Yeah, it should be great. You know, Dom's a, a great player. Plays with you know high intensity, high speed. Uh, for sure he's going to get chances in this team the way uh, that Ange plays and, and you saw that again today two top teams going at it toe to toe and uh, yeah I think it's a, a really good sign and so you know I, I see him in the dressing room there and I just wished him all the best and of course I hope he has a great season and Vincent Company your head coach yeah I've been, uh, been great obviously only been back a couple of days so uh, just getting to know him still but uh, no really like him uh, I think he's a a great leader, a great personality to have as, as a coach. And uh, you see the way we want to play, the style we want to play with the high intensity, the high press, keeping the ball. Uh, not always easy against Spurs because they do the same. So it become uh, a bit of a, a back and forth game. But, you know, I'm really looking forward to this season with him. Can't get used to saying Spurs. Um, I know you've got Clive Houghton at the moment, but obviously Lee Carsley is interim England manager. Uh, what's, your, what's your thoughts on that? And do you have any say going forward as the captain? No, I, I don't have no say. I know the, the guys uh, behind the scenes will, will make that decision. and. Uh, from my point of view as the captain, as the player, it's just to you know, get behind the coach. Uh, we've got two important games coming up, two games you know, after a tournament we had. You, know, you want to kickstart well and, and get back to it. And, um, and yeah, that's all, that's all we can do. So, uh, of course, those decisions are out of my hands. All I can do is do my best for, for him and, uh, and, and our country. Perfect season for you, Bundesliga and Spurs win time. It'd be nice, for sure, 100%. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. Thanks, Harry. Thanks, Harry. Cheers. Yes. Two questions from Jeremy. Yes. Uh, a colleague just asked, how, how are your goals for the second season he's playing? Yeah, uh, I mean, for, from a personal point of view, to continue to score, to continue to help the team, but, you know, the main objective is to, to win trophies, get Bayern back to, to winning trophies, and um, that's the goal. That's the goal for me. That's the goal for our team and this club, and... Uh, and it'll be tough, but you know we have a, a great manager, we have a fresh energy, uh, a lot of intensity in training, and, and you'll see in the games as well, so uh, I'm really excited for that. Does it help you to, to have your second year to, so you know the league, you know the country and everything? I think so. You know, The first season was a great season. Uh, I, I was really proud of the way I adapted to a different league, a different country, and, uh, but it's always in, in football you gain experience, you gain, uh, you gain know-how, and, uh, and like I said, you know, um, I'm excited with this coach. I think the way we play, we're going to have a lot of chances, a lot of the ball, and for me personally, that's you know the perfect, the perfect way to, to play. And you know, hopefully, I'll get loads of chances, and I'm able to put a few away. Do you think you have to do a little bit more pressing with the company? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I only trained yesterday, and already today it was a 10 minute, and it was a, it was a tough 10 minutes. So, uh, but no, I, I love that intensity. I love to try and win the ball back as quick as possible. Uh, and yeah, that's what this preparation's for: is to really understand these ideas, and then implement that into the game. Is there anything you've changed for the for the second season now in preparation or in... No, I, th I mean, like, obviously after the Euros, you don't have much time to, you know, I went away for a few weeks, had a good time with my family, but then, you know, you, you get back up and, and you go again and uh, it's the same for me every year. You know, I'm used to quick turnarounds and we've got a couple, we obviously we have the cup game next week, but a couple, couple weeks before the first Bundesliga game. And uh, I'll be ready for that, and it'll be another, you know, intense season, but one I'm looking forward to. Um, just one 